All right, chat, uh, what do you want to see? We are currently in between player wars. Uh, it is a good time to check uh, how our countries and players team are developing. Is there anyone you'd like to hear more about? So Norway, still not, they've still not gone for their uh, colonist idea. They have caught up a bit on tech. Uh, they can see Greenland, but they haven't yet decided to go for the colony, the colony there. Um, what does Munster look like now when it comes to colonial so range? Munster can't see anything in range. <laughs> yeah, it's, They've it's, got it... the colonist, but they're just not using him, which is surprising. I would have thought maybe you'd put him on, um, well, provinces, but then again, that's just two ducats a month cost for, for yeah. not a huge amount of games. And so I guess it's an open game for Brittany. Where have they uh, put their foothold? Oh, they can see a huge amount of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, that's, 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 that's the observer. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, yeah. We can see some, quite a lot. Yeah. It's, all out, it's all out of range at the moment. Actually, no, so no, guess... no, not true. Brazil is all in range for Brittany. What happened to them and to their legitimacy? Because they clearly had the bonus from discovering the new world, but oh, they had a dirty succession going on. Uh, oh, they switched to Valois. Um, they, they, they don't have, they don't have Valois as a uh, reigning they're gonna, dynasty. They try and get a PU over France. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> try to get that PU over France. That's for sure. Damn, that's bold. If they manage to pull it off, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they choose. To, they probably choose to take the dip in legitimacy to get a Valois heir to their throne. Oh, so they have two colonies, um, Brittany. They've got Tenerife, which oh, is almost Saint done. Oh, Martin. And so they are Martin in here. the Caribbean. This is where their well, colony is currently. They've got, so they are. They're, they're going hard into it here because they, they're, they're running a deficit here in, in order to be able to afford this, like six ducats a month on colonies. But but do have do they have any loans yet? No, no, they have got 300 plus ducats in, in, in hand, what? so they can they afford, can afford it. it. They can afford it for sure. That is, oh, I think Brittany is becoming my favorite team. I think they're putting a lot of moves that I find very fun and interesting. Uh, yeah. So what else did we have in the chat? Apparently Norway is at war. Uh, Norway is at war. He's at war with Denmark again. All right. So is it there? Yeah. So is it Nor is the Norwegian conquest of Gong. Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. have they have Gordon Skonia in the in the southern uh, coast of Sweden. Yeah, so I mean this should be fairly routine for them. Denmark at this point are they have no troops. They have one thousand cavalry and that's it. Um, All right. So yeah, there shouldn't be too much of an issue for Norway. Very they'll be they'll be hoping that they can just take some of the, the uh, get some more trade power here oh. that will really help their help their income. Oh, Norway actually, I am, I just saw on uh, u4chronicle.net, Norway actually just signed a pact with Livonia. Uh, I think it is... Yeah, Livonian is basically guaranteeing the Scandinavian region for Norway. So they have agreed that they are not gonna go uh, this way, and Livonia is gonna focus on uh, the Russian and Baltic region and the state of Finland. So it is basically a split of um, Sweden in half. I mean, I would say good deal for Norway. Uh, they are in a difficult economical situation. Uh, they had to build up back from their bankruptcy. So they definitely want the Livonian threat out of the way. So I would yeah. say good move for them. And I mean, it doesn't cost Livonian much like they were going for Russia anyway. The Knights are fighting their war here. Uh, they're fighting Austria. Serbia, Byzantium, Caravan against Austria and Hungary. Interesting. So we have, this is an Austrian declared war for split in Croatia. All right, so AI are, declared war. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're about to get into a battle here, which is probably going to be <laughs> yeah. bad for them. They've, players took a river crossing, but they have more, way more troops. Austria doesn't fancy reinforcing. And now he's now he, that's that's gonna die as well. Yeah, no, I I I have a hard time seeing like an AI win a war against this kind of block right now. Oh, they're actually taking a bit of a bit. They... No. <laughs> oh, they're gonna win. Oh shit! Oh, that is a bit humiliating. Glorious oh. victory for the emperor. Oh, that must sting. <laughs> well, never underestimate the AI in this game. Wow. Oh. Um. Well, I mean, I thought the AI had had. had bought it because they they let this stack die without without reinforcing it but then 
they obviously they rolled well in the battle. What's it done? They, yeah. yeah, they kept well, them, they whittled them well, down. Well, that that stings for the Orthodox group, like getting a a, a quick whooping from the AI Audio Roman Emperor. How are they looking on strength here? Are they? Ooh, Austria has more troops than the Player Alliance. I mean, I imagine they were recovering from their player war. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to coordinate well here because yeah, yeah. Serbia is being is being carpet sieged basically it's, at the moment. Also, it's an AI. You can't trick them in the peace deal that much. Like Hungary has a lot of cannons. Why do you have so many cannons, Hungary? This, is, this seems very early to have so many. <laughs> they have like two thousand, three thousand. But yeah, I mean, Serbia's in trouble here. You've got 13k here, but that's it. Yeah, and are their allies gonna, like, really rise up to the occasion? Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Uh, is there a much of a response? There's a 17k Byz Byzantine stack here. Caraman has his troops in the Mammoth. Oh, he's there's, the Mammoth. yeah, there is a question. Does uh, Austria have a PU over Hungary? Yes, they do. Yeah, they do, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, another battle here. Uh, yeah. Uh, the... Oh, oh, that's that's a good one on the player side. Austria. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they got to go around because of the fort. I imagine. <gasps> They're still gonna. Oh, oh my, my god, that time. is that is humiliating for the Orthodox uh, pack. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that is rough. I mean, not gonna lie, I, I have taken this kind of beating from an AI and... <laughs> in Death Clashes as well. It always stinks. You think it's a safe thing, and yeah, you can you can throw some F in the chat because that hurts. MVP Oof. here is the Austrian AI. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A yeah. devastating counterattack to yeah. the advanced duel but, but you know, that's a recurring theme in our Death Clashes in the Grand Slam. People always underestimate the AI. It's like when you see the team planning before the game, like they just see the AI as free real estate, they don't think it can bite back, they just laid out their plan with only the player in mind, and well, that's what can happen. But this this isn't <laughs> Austrian attack, so they were like, yep, that, that alliance is too weak, and we're going to attack it, and they just, they've won most battles, and they've only lost two. Yeah, and I mean, even if Serbia managed to, to like, save this, and it doesn't look like they will, because now Byzantium is under siege. I think like, they're going to have to peace because the problem is Caraman um, isn't even fighting. He's over here in in the Mamluks. He's, uh, a, he's in a separate war with the with well, with the rest of them. Uh, the <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine there must be some intense conversation going on their Discord. There must be some screaming I, going on from Serbia, I mean, calling their allies back. Well, yeah, because there's, there's what 17, there's 20, 37,000 Allied troops here, and then. 40, 50, 60,000 Austrians. Where is the Serbian capital? Has it already fallen? Uh, up here, it's under, under siege currently, Belgrade. Yeah, it, oh, it will fall. They won't get back. Damn, son, that hurts. That is gonna hurt so bad. Because even if the match recovered now some, like, I think world wars think... have taken mm. the provinces, like, the unrest Can they even offer crazy. a peace deal? I don't think they can. It's EAI. It's only going to peace where it, when it wants to. Oh, no, they would take. They, 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 the Austrians would currently take a peace deal which just annulled treaties with Caravan from Byzantium and paid some money. That's, they should take it. They should, I, think, I mean, they should, they should take that deal if they can, if they can, they can I, get I, it. Oh, I imagine they, they haven't seen that yet. Because. Oh, oh. oh Another oh. big battle. And Austria is going to lose. He's already won. Oh, no. Oh. He rolled a All one. Right. He rolled a one against the nine at the crucial, the crucial last phase. Right, he lost one battle. Oh, the, the that is sad. Down here, didn't react in time. Okay, that swung it a bit more back in their favour. But still, at the, at the same time, like, oh, yeah, and... I would still take the peace deal because you're wasting troops and manpower. No, no but wait, save... the peace deal we checked was it from Serbia's point of view or was it from Byzantium point of view? Because oh, it is Serbia. The war is on. It's... The war is on Serbia, isn't it? Let's, yeah, yeah. Right, let's, let's try that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chat, thanks, chat. Okay, no, they, they, they want they want a bit more from from pilot, from Serbia. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They want, no, no. but they want. But they they only want yeah. split. It's one province. Mm. Is it? You know, split is a nine development province. Is it worth a huge investment of money and manpower to win the war? 
They seem to think so. There's another like, battle here. Oh, do... They're flooding in from both sides. We have an info. 1,000. Did they? Okay, they've got they've got on top of us now. We actually have an info from Serbia in the chat that has been relayed by Edin that they are now asking their Ottoman brother in Switzerland to declare on Austria to stab them and try and <laughs> save them. <laughs> that is a desperate move if I have ever seen one. I mean, I think they're going to get away with it now because they've... No, uh, they, they're probably going to recover. They've won two battles. I but think, it means that... Well, Karaman's it, arrived, it costs, Yeah, it still costs Karaman to sort of abandon their southern front. They had to peace. They peaced out. So yeah. what did they peace out for? Uh, I'm assuming the it knights have got a bunch of stuff here. Jerusalem. They're going for Jerusalem, aren't they? We're going to see that beautiful white color on the board yeah. pretty soon, I think. Are they, I mean, are they, are they okay on, like... Um, a, because they have they take a lot of land there. Okay. Uh, Mamluks. Blue flames. Blue flames between Switzerland and Saxony. Is it just that? No, no, they're, they they they've done, they've done it. They're at war with Austria. <laughs> but is Saxony allied with Austria? Yes. <laughs> that might. Oh be my a lord! Bold... This is a huge war. <laughs> no, that might be a bold move from Switzerland. They are getting England's AI is in so... it as well. And France. <laughs> It is, it is a risk for Switzerland. Uh, I don't know if they've risk. planned Saxony to actually join the war with their AI allies. And I imagine Saxony... Oh my oh. lord, Switzerland is outnumbered three to one. In, <gasps> or just, it just in this way, that's, that's not including the allied, the allied oh. armies of the south. I, I, I want to know what happened, but my suspicion is they declared, because it was relevant, role play, a good opportunity, they declared on... Austria, they probably didn't expect Saxony to jump on the opportunity with their allies. And um, let's see, let's check well, Saxony. Saxony, Saxony is, has, has in this war because he's allied to Austria. Austria, yeah, Saxony but in. is Saxony going to make a defensive war? Well, yeah, yeah uh, no, because they're, that's they're, the question. No, currently, the answer is no. Uh, <laughs> zero maintenance sat in their capital. I am a bit disappointed. They would have a good opportunity to uh, to go after a player there. That is because... a, yeah, sure, AI, I'll be in the war with you. <laughs> this yeah. has nothing to help. No, but I think they're making a mistake. Like, it is a very good opportunity to take advantage of the AI troop, like, get back at Switzerland before they take too much of a hold in the Empire. I think Saxony should make this move. Well, uh, they are... Yeah, they're still not at full maintenance. They're, um, they're quite happy to sit um, mothballed, basically. Zero Very cool. minimum army maintenance. Fourteen percent inflation though for Saxony, which is which is interesting. We we, we have the results. Well, nine from gold. They've been they've been up in their gold mine here. They got so so we're soon gonna get Ooh, yes. the winning pact uh, of okay. our competition earlier on stream. I'm gonna wait for them to be ready to to reveal who they are. Uh, but uh, it is gonna be, I think, a fan favorite, so that should be nice. I think Maddy is uh, uh, trying to get hold of them right now. So let's follow up with this war. So they have managed to peace. Serbia has managed to peace with Austria, have they? Uh, oh, good point. No, that's the war. And they're still, they're still negative war score as well. Yeah, they, they are sort of pushing back now, but it's going to take them a bit of time. The thing here is, is, is it's now really confusing because there's two wars. Like, so, like, Serbia, like Austria is outnumbered heavily in this war against... Um, yeah, and, and I mean, it's going to be tough for the AI to manage to focus efficiently they have, on two fronts. But they, have a, they have a big advantage in this war, but that yeah. take away the 24,000 from the Saxons, so it's more like a 2 oh, to one As Saxony stopped... Uh, Saxony has restored their uh, oh no no they're... no it's just from another another ah. point of view they can't, they can't so see. like i am yeah. disappointed in saxony i'm not gonna lie like an opportunity like that not not, not fighting for it it's um uh a bit disappointing switzerland moving into uh austria uh the english the english have turned up so the english are in austria whilst the french are uh, seeding down all of their lands over here yeah that is a mess well, this might lead to a weird thing with France seizing some of the land that Holland had been planning on. That, that excellent 200 IQ English army strategy. In that, in that, the, right. the siege of Vienna has begun. All right, so the players are managing to hit back in that war. It has taken their time and some humiliating early 
seven <laughs> defeats, but they're getting there. While France is somehow also sieging. Yeah, uh, it is clearly the end for the Emperor right there. We have Ryzen now with us. Hello, Ryzen. Hello, how are you guys? Hey, congratulations Hi. on your win on the popular vote for the best pact in this early game, collectively, you. with your friend in Crimea. Thank you so much. We are super happy, actually, as we said already on the stream, we love the merch. And uh, yeah, actually, this is a very, very cool win for us. Yeah, and it okay. is proof that, and I think that's what I love the most about the Grand Slam. Like, it is also not only about min-maxing and being the one on top of the ledger. It's also about creating good stories and showing good alliance and having the chat entertain. And clearly it uh, paid off. I think you're clearly among the fan favorites when it comes to telling a beautiful story of friendship in the East. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the supporters in the chat as well. Um, I mean, I think uh, we had a rough start and uh, now, although we lost a big war, uh, we have to say we actually uh, didn't lose much. Yeah, we actually got out quite well out of the war. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what the future will bring to the Riyadhani people. We are curious too. It's definitely going to be an interesting northern border for you. Uh, and we're going to see if that Russia tag eventually pops next to you. Uh, well, currently, oh, what is happening with your Crimean friend? Are they letting some rebels? They, they just had. I, I think they succeeded. The yes, yeah, yes, they did. The they now have, they now have, they now have a six, four, five ruler. So that's that's worked out well. That is sweet. Yeah, that's a pretty nice um, deal that we got out of this war. Yes, yeah. so we're quite satisfied, as you can see now. And yes. uh, I think there is a lot more in store for us. So, uh, yeah, stay wow. curious um, and yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, Thank I'm sure lot, chat is going to keep an eye on you guys. See we'll you around. Care, bye. 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 Excellent. Very well. Serbia has turn around their war against the AI. They seem to be gloating a bit about it. I wouldn't gloat if I were them. It they have in fact pieced out. Yeah, it didn't oh, start. Dear. That what? What? Oh dear. Oh, so hang on, dear. hang on. If I'm looking at this correctly, what has happened is, um, oh no, no, oh, blind me. The Swiss are now, they've done a whole bunch of peace deals here. I thought for a second then that the uh, Eastern Orthodox guys had pieced out and left Switzerland high and dry fighting the Austrians, but actually. What has happened to England? Have they, it seems like they have liberated Alençon. Oh, they haven't hurt them that much. I think they have done the minimum to just get them out of the war. They huh? they just wanted they yeah they just wanted them out because they were they were drowning in too many troops. Okay. And now Switzerland is at war with Austria and has almost four times as many troops as him on, the, on his side. Yeah, that Swiss snake looks more and more like it's gonna become a hydra out of this war as they are like snaking two oh, ways through fine. Austria. France trying to reinforce. Yeah, they're... it's just cannons on the Austrian side. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a murder. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, there go the Austrians. Um, yeah, so, so Vienna's now being sieged again for the second time in about one year. Yeah, I mean, for, for, for the commoners in Vienna, it is not the greatest time. Ooh. Yeah, well, good good player from Switzerland. They're, they're gonna grow now. Now that they're, they've yeah. beat Austria once, they'll be, probably be able to beat Austria again and like establish themselves as the yeah. preeminent power north of the Alps. I must say, I'm still a, a bit disappointed about Saxony. Like, they wouldn't win any votes in my heart right now uh, because they could have stopped this. They could have limited as well, uh, at least. Oh, in the meantime, on the colonial game, uh, Brittany is going Caribbean. Ooh. Jamaica now colonized by Brittany. They are continuing to expand cool. there. So is it the end of the Ottoman? Like, are they officially yep. not being... I mean, be they're, I mean, they're at 21% on the siege of Siroz, and uh, that'll be it. We'll be yeah. BF for the Ottomans after that, after it's completed. All right, that is good. So what is happening with Norway? Are they still carving their way out of... Yeah, oof, they are engulfing Sweden. Yeah, Sweden has... Are they, are they at war? No, this is... <gasps> they Look, it is, it is a result of the pact they have uh, agreed earlier with Livonia. They are clearly partitioning Sweden. 
I mean, that is a good deal oh, for yeah, Pogba. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, what is modern day Finland and then... Uh, it is, it is a line. I mean, if you look at the region, I guess they have like partitioned it, like following the line of they the get, region in game. Extra points here because the borders will look nice when <laughs> they when true. they complete it. And as far that as I'm concerned, true. that like means you 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 get extra points. I mean, I am uh, <laughs> I'm not against border Gory. <laughs> in the last death clash, I played a Hungary that snaked its way up until Beijing in China. So I can't give any lesson in terms of border Gory. That is that is heinous, like. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's yeah, I also switched to Confucianist to try and grab the Dragon's Throne. It was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Switzerland is now uh, big and strong. Um, yes, we have is. also Milano is finalizing their annexion of Venice, and there are gonna be a powerful economic power machine. Where is Milan's army? They're at war with Venice, but they've finished 100%, and they're at war with uh, some guys in the HRE. Oh, they're up here, Milan's army. Okay. All right. Some Sassinian, Sassinian heretics. It's going to be interesting to see if there is an eventual clash between um, Switzerland and Milan, or if this sort of peace lasts. Well, you would think that Switzerland is going to be working with their brothers in the faith. <laughs> oh, big war. Oh, that's just a crushing of some uh, trouble from separatists there. Or France in Ireland have been pretty... Oh, they have grabbed some Ooh, of yeah. Scotland. Yes, Munster has... Uh, has taken most of Scotland at this point. And they uh, have Vassal in Ulster, uh, so they basically just need now to go for backstabbing uh, the English, which I imagine like the war between Holland and Munster against England is probably going to happen soon. I don't see any reason. Yeah, I mean, England's 30-ish thousand troops, 13,000 from Munster, Holland's 21,000, so they are kind of level pegging. Um, Chat Chat yeah. is asking about East Africa. Let's follow up a bit on our friends who are a bit out of the current world politics in uh, Ethiopia and yep. uh, Kiowa. Oh, so Kiowa's taken the Metapan gold mines here, I think. Kiowa stonks. Yeah. Gold, gold, gold. All right. Let, sh sh yeah. Show us the economy ledger. I'm pretty sure they're starting to show up in there. Uh, oof, 30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, they are rising at the level of the. We're gonna so, see. Yeah, Milan the most. Uh, so Kilwa down here is 20, 20 ducats. Ethiopia thirty. Both gold, in fifteen ducats a month yeah. from Ethiopia on gold. <laughs> both both in the top five uh, of door players right now. Oh, so, yeah, while... so Saxony, interestingly, has the set is making the second most from gold of anyone. Well. Yeah, so, that, yeah, but they are probably risking exhausting that gold mine, though. Well, that's why. Um, yeah, because I remember I looked at a second ago that um, Saxony had like a huge amount of um, development on their gold mine. Yeah, it's down here. Uh, so we've got ten, and they're, and their um, uh, inflation was like <laughs> fourteen points. Oh, that's nasty. Because they, they, they are because they're making a huge yeah. amount of their income from gold at this point. Like essentially. Yeah. What a third? Yeah. Like more than taxation and trade basically put together. Knights are already moving them in. Yes. All right. Hello, well, knights. Welcome. So, what is uh, happening? We suspect what you want to announce and see happening on stream. Well, uh, we've just uh, finished our conquest of the Memlots with uh, the help of the. Uh, the Holy Father himself, he came down and uh, lent, lent a hand very strongly. Good. Uh, as well as, you know, our allies in Karaman, uh, Byzantium and Serbia, don't want to leave them out, they fought very well. Even though Serbia was being uh, attacked by Austria at the same time, who clearly did not want to see Jerusalem in Catholic hands. All right. So, yeah, so I, it was it, uh, quite the glorious little conquest. So I guess and, there uh, is at least something your... about to happen right now. Yeah, oh, you look at that. Cool. We've, uh, we've had a little bit of a tag switch. Congratulations, and the Kingdom of Jerusalem is now on the map. That's it. We have formed the holiest of nations other than the Papal State himself. 
All right. What is your next plan? Is that alliance with the Pope gonna hold up? Do you plan on reconquering more well, land? He's already broken the alliance, and I gotta be honest, we're a little bit disillusioned with the Pope at this point right. because can, can, as can much we get as he you? Came, oh yeah. Can you get you to put your camera on? Oh yes, I can do that. Perfect. I didn't realize it wasn't on. Oh, uh, yeah. We're Ooh. a little bit disillusioned. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I like the background. Uh, yeah. Yes, we have. We are now Jerusalem. Um, we're a little bit disillusioned with the Pope at the moment, to be honest, because we asked for him to send a cardinal to Rhodes a while back, and instead of just, you know, saying you're good Catholics and all the rest of it, he asked us for ducats. Oh. And he wanted to keep it in private channels. He wouldn't have it, you know, be a public thing. And after uh, talking to other Christian nations, apparently this is the norm. Oh dear. We already are buy indulgences every five years, and now we have to send ducats for cards. Like, that is that the is bribery is getting that, rife in the that, Catholic Church, and we're not writing some feces and pinning them to a church door somewhere. We yeah, did, yeah. I'm... But somebody uh, convinced us there might be a better way to go, and you might have to watch out for that. Ah, uh, all 82 right. Eighty-two percent reform desire. Getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Good for luck, being with us for this uh, touch change. Um, now, Jerusalem, I guess. <laughs> See you later okay. in the day. Oh, we have a player war. Ooh, Crimea and Riazan are at war with the Livonian Order again. Oh dear. Who declared so... this? Uh, oh, they've lived off it already. <laughs> oh! oh yeah, we missed it. But yeah, there are nice no, 100%. Oh, it yeah. is the oh, it is the turn of the table. Riaz and switching alliance. I mean, it is quite brutal. They won the pact, and right after that, plunging their knife on oh, the boy. back of their alliance. That is a that is a uh, stone cold move. Yeah, it is. A, it is a rough, rough one. So I think we are soon gonna prepare for switching hosts and uh, give back the mic to two of our colleagues. And I believe it is gonna be uh, Benjamin Magnus, our community ambassador for Europa Universalis, and the one and only Grugi, uh, who are gonna take over after us to uh, comment uh, the end of this uh, afternoon here in Sweden of the stream. Yes. Yeah, I see the chat excited of seeing the man who is, as the legends say, uh, oh half man, half hedgehog, uh, and hi. another half made essentially of four dimension chess uh, in the chat again. Hey, there Ben. Okay, I got audio now. I didn't have audio for a second there. Ahoy, hoy. All right. We have seen quite a lot of things happening. Uh, some recent beautiful betrayal uh, in the Crimean uh, alliance, the expansion of Brittany Ooh. towards the new world, mm -hmm. uh, the partition of Austria after an initial like little whooping that Serbia had to surface through. Excited oh, for this afternoon. I love it. All right. Uh, uh, so you guys, I, 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 I haven't had my eyes on the screen for the last few minutes, but did you guys see um, Carmen going orthodox? Oh, have they gone orthodox? Yeah, they were supposed to go orthodox to uh, keep their engagement in their alliance. So the orthodoxy is growing quite a bit. Last I looked, orthodox rebels were just running roughshod over the country. Yeah, they, they have now officially converted Karaman to orthodoxy. Beautiful. All right. uh, meanwhile, colonialism has spawned in uh, Munster, in Cork. Which is... Uh, uh, Interesting. What just, happened, what just happened over in Ireland? Did the did Munster lose some land to the Isles because that wasn't there before? They uh, they released them as a vassal. Ah, they got a vassal there. Uh, yeah, there's a minor war here between England, um, Brittany. Uh, so Brittany's in it with France. Well, France declared it actually. So France, French reconquest. They've just dragged Brittany in along for the ride. Uh, along I'm, with I'm and a little Pope. sad to see such a powerful England and France still solid in there. I fig I was hoping the players would pick them to pieces by now. Yeah, they haven't quite managed to, mainly because um, uh, England got drawn into a, a big war with Austria, and then the uh, no, they were on, on the same side as Austria, and the Swiss pieced them out for nothing basically, and, oh, uh, and, and like two a bunch of nations. Some people were 
were mentioning, uh, uh, they were wondering what happened with Tunis because the map changed. I was actually watching that on a different computer while it happened. Um, Clemson declared war on Tunis to try to gobble up the rest of them, uh, but unfortunately got dogpiled by the Mamluks and Morocco as well, and then pieced out as quickly as they possibly could to avoid losing any more land. But that's, that's why the borders changed down in North Africa. All right. Uh, I think we are soon going to be ready to switch over. Uh, thank you for this session, chat. It's been very fun to cover that uh, with you guys. Uh, you, you're not going to see me again uh, for the rest of the weekend. I'm going to take my rest now. But I think, Josh, you're coming back uh, tonight or tomorrow, yep, right? Yeah, I will be back at um, 6.30 CET. So I will see all of you then. We want to see Prussia. We're going to sit here to the end of the year and we're going to like it. Yeah. <laughs>